Hi everyone, I thought you'd uh, like something different now. I'm gonna paint this baby elephant, we're gonna speed it up, just so you can see how easy it is to paint in oils. Straight out of the tube, no medium, no linseed oil, no liquid, no thinners, nothing. I'm just gonna paint oil paint straight onto the, the board. And I'm gonna mix it on the palette and we're gonna paint this. We're gonna speed it up so you don't have to sit and watch it. I'm probably gonna take me about an hour or something like that. Hopefully it looks something like this baby elephant that I photographed in Zimbabwe a few years ago. So come on, let's have some fun, let's get going. So off we go, I've prepped the board with some burnt umber and just wiped that off, just to kill the white really. And um, sketched it on very crudely, just a few, few uh, pencil marks really. So I put the background on first, I'm just uh, making some, some marks where the water is, um, adding a little black and some blue there and if you, a little burnt umber, whatever you've got on the brush works at this stage, it doesn't really matter. Once you put it down, you can see what colour you've got and of course you'll be able to see the colour against this burnt umber background, your tonal values will be much easier than say you were painting onto a white canvas, which is really useful and I help you a lot. Um, I haven't always done it this way actually, I, I kind of find out the hard way, uh, after many years of practicing, that um, this is the best way to do it. So um, now I'm adding a little um, orange into the brown and adding that into the blue. Now I'm not, uh, you can play around with this yourself, um, just have some fun with it. You know what, if it doesn't work, then you just wipe it off, get a rag, wipe it off. Um, I use some old towels actually. I always get in trouble with the wife there for <laughs> stealing the towels. Um, but yeah, you can just um, wipe it off and, and start again. It's no big deal. You're not gonna make any mistakes here. You're just gonna have some fun with it. <clears throat> and now, um, what you can see, I'm just, I'm going quite light here already. Uh, you may not want to do that. I mean, it's an oil sketch. So really I'm just having fun with it. And uh, I've lightened that area there just so I can see the contrast in the shadow that um, I'm going to get from the elephant and the water to get the elephant colour, the water right. Now normally you're probably thinking, well, how do you know what colour to put the shadow in if you've not painted the elephant yet? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a true representation really of the photograph. So I'm just copying the photograph. I mean, at the end of the day, kind of plagiar plagiarism, but really just having some fun with it. Now you see the dark areas going in first. Now the colours you put down are the colours you're going to get. It's not like watercolour, they'll dry 50% lighter. Uh, these oils are going on now that are going to be that colour when they dry. So yeah, I'm putting some, some dark shadow. You see how easy that went in over the, uh, over the water there. Now I just added some dark and some black, I think it was, uh, into that blue. And you can see the shadow I got underneath the trunk there. Very simple, very, very quick. So here we go, I'm just, uh, as uh, my old mate once said, a very famous artist said, there are no hard edges at all in nature. Uh, and uh, he's right. So uh, um, I've taken no notice of that. <laughs> I've put some hard edges in. But you'll see they'll look fine, trust me, when it's finished. And at the end of the day, uh, if you don't like what you've got, you can paint over it or indeed you can wipe it off and start again. The further you get into this painting, the harder it will be to wipe it off because uh, you've invested time into what you've done already and you won't, feel like wiping it off, you just gotta make it right. But look, you know, just have fun with it, have practice. And the lovely thing about painting this size, of course, is um, there's no big commitment in time. You can just, just play with it and have some fun. And, and that's what I'm doing, really. Um, I'm looking at the photograph, you can't see me doing that here, but I am looking at the photograph when um, I'm not painting. In that moment there, like there, I was looking at the photo to check, also loading the brush as well. Looking again at the photo there, coming back, trying to be as true as possible, really using your eyes to paint true as possible to the image, I should say. And you're setting the dark areas first, and uh, as we go, we get lighter and lighter. Um, yeah, I could have covered that whole area in, in that dark sort of uh, raw umber and uh, mixed with some black, but no point in doing that. You just build up the areas slowly. Now, I'm not getting bogged down with detail in any part of this um, small little sketch here as you can see I'm just adding colors in the right place really and blending a little wet and wet as you can see there. Lovely thing about it, well, um, wet and wet is uh, that you can blend those colors and get um, some, uh, rid of those hard edges very easily. Now there's no medium here at all. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, they're just re really... Um, now what I did there, you can see that blur go across. I actually wiped it with a, a brush to get rid of all the uh, brush marks. A really soft brush across it just to see what would happen actually, and um, just to blend some of those colors, because now this elephant's wet, 
and you'll find towards the finished image, and I'll, um, I'll put up the finished image before I finished uh, this oil sketch. There we go, did it again. You can see that it's blending. So those colors in the elephant wall, because it's wet, once you start putting the highlights on, and you'll see in a moment, they all blend together and make it look even wetter. Um, this is not any particular technique, it's just common sense really. It's a sort of logical progression. Now, I'm putting lighter colors in now, as you can see, a uh, little bit of blue and white there. Uh, staying true to the uh, image that um, I'm painting. Now, you can't see that here, so you're gonna have to trust me that I'm doing that. Uh, and just adding some light colors. So we've gone dark to start with, and we're getting lighter and lighter. I'm just blending that together, and you can see it's taking shape. The whole shape of the elephant is actually coming together, which is really lovely. That's quite an exciting thing to do. It's uh, at the stage, it's it's starting to come together. And um, now I put the background first, as you can see. And if I hadn't have done that, then uh, I'd have to go on top of that and get a bit of a mess. So um, again, like I say, I was about to say, there was no other medium here, just the oil paint, nothing else. Um, uh, the, and I haven't cleaned that brush either. I'm using the same brush, I'm just wiping it, not cleaning it in white spirit. If I did that, uh, it would thin the paint, even when, if I thought it was dry, there would still be white spirit residue on the, on the brush. And uh, yeah, blending that into that blue there, just to make it look like water's falling off that wet and wet, which is rather nice. Um, and while I've still got that color on the brush, I'm looking around to see what else I can use to do that. Uh, yeah, so I was saying there's no other medium on that um, brush nothing at all, just, just oils, oils, nothing else but oils. And uh, keeping an eye on the image, I'm just starting to uh, do the water here. I blended that bit there to make that water come off at the bottom of the um, baby Ellie's chin and just creating the shape there for the end of the trunk. Uh, smaller brush, as you can see there, I'm using a rigger there, don't know what size. I don't get bogged down in brushes really, I either like flat brushes, they're all soft, uh, as you can see, that's a flat brush there, or I'm using a, a, a small rigger, uh, one or the other, which is what I'm doing here. Now you can see, uh, very crudely put that dark area in there and then went over it with another brush to create the eyelid. Uh, you don't see much of the eye on an elephant, you just see mostly the eyelid with a, a little touch of uh, light into the eye, but not too much. Um, an elephant's eye on a baby is actually looks a lot bigger, obviously, because um, uh, the head's much smaller. So you can see some blues I'm adding all around there. Uh, this will create the look of water and wet. And this when um, the finished paintings, the finished sketch. Now top of an elephant's head, baby elephants actually, um, interestingly, it's uh, very hairy. Um, and uh, I'll add some more of that later on. And I'm just putting the diesel around the eye. Now if I bog down with the diesel on that eye to start with, I'd have been in trouble really because I've probably gone over it two or three times now already and you know you've wasted your time if you don't like what you've done or you smudge it anyway you're gonna to have to go back into it so you don't want to get bogged down with too much detail in the early stages of any painting. Um, if this was uh, a five foot elephant painting um, I'd be doing the same thing. You, you just use bigger brushes to start with and your brushes get smaller and smaller as you get down to the more of the detail. Now I'm adding white here this is almost I think it's just titanium white just to see what it looks like and then still blending because that paint's still wet. This is oil paint, so it takes a while to dry. These are fast drying oils, but they'll stay wet for a considerable time, amount of time, long enough for me to be able to work them anyway, which is rather nice. If I was using a regular oil, um, it would take much, much longer to dry. These dry just about the right time for me, I find anyway. There we go, little drops, see how easy that is? So easy. Um, look at that water under the chin as well there. You can see that it's blended in, it's just, uh, there we are, just, yeah, it's like I could, uh, you could hear me doing it again. Um, just adding some highlights. Now you can go over the top with this, uh, which I did, and I didn't like it, so there we are, I blended that in a little bit, went a bit too much. But that's, see, that's coming together nicely, you're just very, very subtle, and if you're not happy with what you've done, step back, have another look at it. If it's not right, um, just wipe it off the brush. But again, there's no cleaning of the brush, there's no, there's clear, I've wiped the brush, but I've not cleaned it up, not, there's no white spirit on this. It's all very, uh, very simple. Now, uh, coming towards the end of the oil sketch itself, I'm going to spend another uh, another few hours actually probably touching up and messing around with this um, just to get it right. Uh, and maybe it's half an hour here and half an hour there. Um, it's, it's at the end of the day, it's an oil sketch. So um, I'll add more color into the foreground water as well, a little bit more detail. 
and also I'll um, put some more details, some more black um, into the, the trunk with that brush I'm using right there, the, uh, the rigger. And I'm using the side of that rigger there. It's quite, quite it's a very useful brush. There we go, some blacks going in now, creating some uh, marking. Now I'm staying very true to the image here. Keep a really good eye on the, uh, the image. Now I'm going over all that work. So if I mess up, I'm gonna have to wipe it off and uh, or blend it in and start again a little bit. So you take your time with that. But this is the good bit. This is the good bit. This is the exciting bit, the way you can really, really try to make that, that image look like the photograph. There we go, I think we'll call it a day. Look at that, 30 minutes. And no thinners, just oil, straight out of the tube, onto the palette, onto the board. Now, um, that's not quite finished. I'll probably spend another half an hour on it and I'll, I'll put a perfect picture up of what it's gonna look like when I've finished it properly. But have a go at home, find any old photograph, set yourself a challenge, see what you do in half an hour, work really quickly, it's brilliant fun and you get a lot of satisfaction, a lot of joy out of it and great practice too. So um, hopefully you'll learn a little bit here and um, oh, baby elephants, you gotta love Mamu, the best value in Africa. Thanks very much, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified when my next video comes out. Thanks a lot, see ya.